uh, GRE was the last moment decision for me and uh, I spent only three weeks for it. And uh, in this three weeks, I uh, how I prepared was I made charts of words, uh, whatever new words came up, uh, I may uh, like uh, no, made it note down on the charts and uh, with uh, sketch pens, they were large enough so that I could see it from anywhere in my room. Apart from that, I also wrote its meaning in uh, like small size with pencil so that if I couldn't remember the meaning, I could review it there itself. So this was helpful for me in verbal. And for math, it was practice for this Manhattan LB5 book. Uh, I completed doing that book twice in three weeks. So this all helped me preparing for my GRE. Uh, no, I didn't face any kind of problem in visa interview. Yes, uh, I was quite worried. Uh, what I noticed was people who were having uh, loans were getting visa easily. And uh, so that's the reason I was uh, I applied for a loan, but uh, it couldn't be uh, sanctioned by that moment. Uh, it got sanctioned one week after my visa interview. So uh, when I went into the interview and uh, when I was talking to people who were around there, there was a girl who told me that uh, her uh, visa was rejected before just because uh, she didn't have a loan. And later it got accept like like this time it's uh, it got accepted as uh, she took a loan and went. Then I was like, okay, I would tell that I have I will have a sanctioned loan. And when I went in, uh, I was asked about like the questions were divided in such a way that the first two questions were uh, in a form of uh, seeing whether I am speaking well, I'm able to communicate or not. Like I was asked why UTA and. Uh, uh, why, which all universities I applied and which all admits I've got. Then next two questions were dealing with my uh, studies and academics, which was GRE score and academic percentage. And then later came up financials as I was not asked a group question stating that how like how will you sponsor your education? But I was asked in such a way that uh, do you have a loan? She asked. So I was like, yes, I have a loan. She told that uh, she asked me again that is it a sanctioned loan in I was tensed and I just told that yeah it is a sanctioned loan and it's 40 lakhs and Bank of Baroda and uh, the fr member who was standing in front of me was also going uh, through a loan uh, from Bank of Baroda so she asked me whether you know the person who's standing in front of you and uh, then I told yeah no sorry no I don't know the person who's standing in front of me and then she asked me about how I'll sponsor what's my dad and what's his annual income, what's my mom and what's her, what is her annual income. And then she uh, just gave me the visa, like uh, she took my passport and dropped it into the tub. Like uh, I am enrolled in University of Texas Arlington and uh, University of Texas Arlington, uh, uh, we have, to, we don't choose our specialization right from now. I have just applied for a master's in computer science and uh, after our orientations will be uh, choosing our courses. There's a plus point in UTA uh, that we will specialize in two subjects parallelly. So I am planning to choose it in artificial intelligence and databases. And uh, my subjects which will be for first sums will be artificial intelligence and machine learning. Docket was very helpful to me, like uh, right from the time I started my applications uh, till uh, the visa experience because uh, Yocket was sometimes giving me confidence that uh, the time after you apply to the colleges and then you wait for the results will be like very crucial and you keep checking on your mail and you'll be seeing what other people will be facing and Yocket was helpful there. Uh, giving me confidence, yes, I will be uh, admitted into the best colleges uh, as far as uh, the ones which I am I have applied. Uh, I, I could chat with friends and Yorkit was also helpful uh, in a way like uh, when I got into UTA, I met my friend from the same college who was studying with me since four years and who was, who was also admitted into UTA. But I didn't know it just because Yorkit, I came to know about him. So this all added up uh, in being uh, helpful and in such a way Yocket was helpful and also the discussions were good. Uh, uh, let it be the profile evaluation, let it be the uh, 
discussions on visa experiences uh, the way of uh, like for applications everything has helped the financial documents and all i have also asked questions my questions were also solved in such a way yocket has helped me uh, till now uh as far as i know like artificial intelligence is growing in usa and uh, it's in its uh, second stage now and uh, people tell that there is trump effect and all stuff but i think uh, for skilled labor there is no problem because uh, the if they are skilled he would welcome them to do work there and uh, as i'm from computer science department and uh, people think that studying in usa and getting a job there is difficult as usa is saturated with uh, computer science students uh, like uh, computer science and uh, is now being uh, uh, what we say automate automation is just going upon computer science like first we had assembly level of works and then uh, came up it sector and now it sector will be dominated by artificial intelligence so this is a continuing procedure and you, you will again require people who will, who are studying artificial intelligence and who are uh, dealing with uh, stuff like this so i think the work in us would be good there there'll be no problem and uh, any stuff there uh, i would advise them to start a bit earlier and write the exams early because uh, i started my uh, exams and all stuff late in november i would advise them if they are planning for fall start a year ahead and uh, apply fast and look for scholarship and the most important thing is research either it be of universities either it be of how to write the exam either it be of uh, anything like right from applications to everything you would require quite a research you have to sit down on your uh, lappy and you have to search for it you have to search for scholarships because until you search and you apply you won't get stuff so i would advise them first to start early second research as much as possible